Um, so why is it when you look at the divergent strains of the Reformation that you see Luther's path as the best path? Because there were several. Yeah. So um, an author named Charles Krauth um, has the, this book uh, where he speaks about the Catholic Reformation or the Conservative okay. Reformation. Right. It's called the, the the title of the book is the Conservative Reformation and its theology. Um, okay. And and the reason why I called it the Conservative Reformation is to say that it conserved a lot of what was going on in the church, um, okay. whereas the Reformed Reformation conserved less, I mean, essentially, right? So you're not gonna say they conserved nothing, um, but this is true even in the liturgical structure of the services. So, right. you know, you don't wanna downplay how radical Luther's German mass was. It was, it was very radical. Um, but Luther, I mean, I mean, if you look at how Luther sh shifted the mass, initially he uh, began stripping away elements of specifically the, the Eucharistic sacrifice language in Latin, right. but kept the Latin. Eventually he transferred to now using it in the language of the people. He was very careful in how he did that though. But what you see is the development of what's already there and the, the attention to taking that and now making it consistent with scripture, teaching the people as he does it, and then the development out of that tradition, which remains within the Western uh, theological Catholic tradition. Um, but if you look at, you know, how Zwingli, for example, did his worship services, um, you know, Zwingli basically stripped every, I mean, even he stripped out music from the services initially, at least. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, I'm preaching on Matthew and we're going to read through the whole book. Uh, and, and it was a very different approach to reform that you see initially right. in Zwingli than Luther. Now, the reformed themselves, you can certainly say that there are different approaches to reform. I mean, Calvin was not as radical as Zwingli. And, yeah. in, and then you talk about the Anglican Reformation as well, which doesn't quite fit with the reformed either, but um, in some ways does. So, but but Lutheranism is that conservative reformation. In other words, it's, it's the yeah. attempt to retain the essence of what was good in the church, and that includes a very high sacramental theology. It includes the wearing of vestments, the use of an altar, the making the sign of the cross, those those kinds of things, um, which certainly gives a very different idea of historical continuity than you will find uh, within a lot of the other branches of the Reformation.